Welcome back to Metro Gamer 77 The Apprentice. This time back with some more Hero Factory slash Bionicle slash CCBS mocks. Okay, so I like to call these guys the henchmen. And there's, later on, I'm going to make some sort of big bad evil dude. And... <clears throat> And so normally in like cartoons and media, there's like a pair of henchmen and they're both really idiots. I don't think of these guys that way at all. Honestly, it's quite the opposite. And I, I like to think these guys are ruthless murderers. Um, yeah, that's basically it. So he, this is just, he's just out to kill. He has no mercy and things like that. That's basically it. He just has no per. He basically has no personality. He's just evil guy number one. But he's not an idiot, so that's what matters to me, I guess. Okay, so let's take a look at the details. So over here, um, I use those tiny feet, and then over here, this construction for his legs is inspired by Umrak the Hunter or Slash Destroyer from the Bionicle Reboot 2016, not 2015. And, um, I'll get into his construction later, but it's really unique. I used, um, that piece and as a skirt. And then I made this. And his arms. This arm is really weird. I'll get into that in a second. But, now there's this arm, which is just has a shield and a hand. But this arm has... has, has I, I wish I could speak, but I really can't. <laughs> okay. This arm is a bit weird in the way it's constructed but i like to think of it as like kind of cool it uses the hero hero cuff things from hero factory um to be like a claw and so the way i imagine is obviously to a much greater extent you can like undo that and it can just be like a flail and then you can reattach it at one of the chain links with one hand somehow. And then he has a longer hand. Obviously, because there's only three chain links, you can't get much. But it's still a difference. And it just came out. But you could just use it like some sort of flail. And then over here, I use these shields, which pieces that came on for no XL from Brain Attack. But I turned them inside so the hero logo's on the inside, not the outside, because he's not a hero. And so I said I'd get into his construction a bit. Oh, these parts I just added on, um, because I wanted to add some pieces, extra pieces, but, um, I couldn't find the pieces, so, yeah, we don't need this bit, but, <clears throat> I actually used the micro, like, the CCVS, like, mini torso upside down, and then you can, as you can see, this armor piece kind of hides the two leg ball joints, and then the head joint is where I connected the skirt, armor and then the legs is where I connected where the arms are and then I attached the joints for the arms and the head onto the back and that's why the arm has such a weird connection and why the head is also a weird connection also for the head you can see I used I didn't use a standard head that's just because I couldn't find the pieces I have the pieces I'm just too lazy to find them and so for the time being this works fine okay and let's move back move back move on to the second person Uh oh. Okay. So here he is. Um, this guy uses a normal torso. And you can see he's different. So if you're wondering about the asymmetry, I like to think he's like a cyborg. Just like. He was like almost dead. Kind of like the actual like character cyborg. He was almost dead. But then he, they just like had to infuse some metal into him to help him survive. So you can see he has this gun, which we'll take closer. We'll take a little closer look at it in a second. But let's take a closer look at his legs. So I like his legs a lot. And if you look at him from the side, let's say I think you can already tell what's going on. Um, the legs are just a gimmick. They do look nice, but for the most part, they're a gimmick. But we'll get back to that. He uses this torso. It's basic stuff. And then his arms are also basic stuff. I didn't use the ball jump piece. I used another. Upper limb, I guess that, if that makes any sense, connection for the arm. Just because I was also, again, too lazy to find out better pieces. 
Then let's go to his back, which is his, I think it is his gym. There he goes. What I see as his defining trait, um, the two giant cannons on his back. And I did use these um, connection pieces just to make it look like there's like a system of ammo pumping through them. And I'll show you how he looks with those uh, like planted over his shoulders. But once again, you can take it, also see again the things on his back of his feet. And if. Okay, so you can probably tell that he has like wheel feet, like Transformer Sideswipe, which this was just for fun. Um, he used to have these giant obnoxious ones and they couldn't alternate, but I fixed those and now they look a lot better. So obviously he can't really stand like this. I could probably make like a little cake stand sort of piece and the way it's attached, they do move around. So there's nothing you can really do about that. Uh, you could just keep it like that just to make them less, like get them out of the way. But that's basically it. Um, the head construction, the way I attach this is, um, if you go to the channel of Play Stippling, who isn't a very active YouTuber, he made a video on how you can attach these brain attack visors to a new bionicle head. And one thing that's actually cool about this is you can actually move it up and down. And it kind of looks like this head reminds me of a Terminator, but like, whatever. Okay. Okay, as I promised, here's how he looks with his cans over his shoulders. You can arrange these a bit differently. Maybe you can make them... You know, facing straight. <laughs> oh, it's a mistake on my part, but it doesn't look too bad. Um, or you can make them closer to his um, neck. You can just mess around with those. And as promised, now we'll take a look at his weapon. Okay, so he does have a gun. And this whole gun assembly is actually just based off of this one bionicle piston piece, which I think looks kind of like a gun. So... I just did that. I made this whole construction. So, yeah. I took one of these pieces, which I also use on a heel for the skull guy. As heel spurs for, like, the skull guy. And I just had this red piece, one by 2 axle, to hold it so I can hold it. And I'm not going to go over it too much. Um... If you would like this content, I don't feel like this content. I would, I might, if you, wait, let me know if, in the comments if I can't speak right now. No, that's not what you should let me know in the comments. <laughs> let me know in the comments if you'd like a tutorial on both of these guys. And, and that's basically it. This has been Metro Gamer 77 Apprentice. Um, subscribe if you like my content. Leave a like if you also like my content. <laughs> if you don't like my content, don't do any of those. And this has been Metro Gamer Seven Seven Apprentice. Thanks. For, thank you for watching. I keep repeating myself, and this is for the last time. This has been Metro Gamer Seven Seven Apprentice signing off.